don't think I have any. Yeah, I already have these three new ones and nothing here. Okay, so let's go. Da -da 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 Getting inside the Normandy as his commanding officer. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Why the fuck do I need to do what? What? I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. That's horrible, I know. Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. This is wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's yeah, of course, over. Joker. You got anything you want to say? You are the first one. Now's the time. <sighs> I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't oh, I love the music. This mission isn't going to be easy. Uh, Eden Prime was the star. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Humanity must do his part. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Saren will be ready for us. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of Rats. any other species in Citadel space. Saren Sorry. must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Oh. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Now the real game is starting. Just Commander. checking out the crew. Something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance <laughs> isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I'd like thought. to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Uh, Joker, calm down. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones mm -hmm. in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. <laughs> Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Yeah, I was right. just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. <laughs> I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. You weren't happy? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. And goodbye. I have to go. All right, see you. I'm going to check, just check a little bit on of my crew. Then we're off and off. Nav manual 1.4.1. Okay, navigator Presley. I don't know why. I never. Ugh, fine. Fuck off. So now we go down here. Have a few people to talk to. I have Kaden over here, 
Uh, uh, Dr. Chuck was over there. Get in. Wait. Anything you need, Commander? Just looking for him for personal input. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Okay. Okie dokie, so here... Uh... I, I didn't need any medigel, but that's okay. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Nothing. Goodbye, Let's go. Commander. It's quickly. Except this loading part over here, that's going to happen about in a few seconds, like here. And let's get down and probably in three, two, one. There you go. I knew it. I friggin' knew it. So here I'm going to. I don't. Th Do I ever talk with this guy? Supplies? Yes. I already no talked with this guy. So. Garras, mate. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. You knew? Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know it's yeah. not. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. Mm -hmm. CSAC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Yeah, it's not that bad. Part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Yeah. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's mm -hmm. handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. That depends, dude. If the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Hmm. <laughs> That's right, dude. Nice ship you got, Shepard. Rex. What can I do for you? Personal inquiry. What's your story, Rex. There's no story. Oh, that's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Oh, come on. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Okay, I see your point, Rex. It isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. No, seems like it. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. Why? The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So? Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Genophage. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Solarians if you want details. They made it. Mm -hmm. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. 
Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why not? Why the Krogan try to find a cure. When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan. Last question. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Can I talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Ah. Missed you. Sir. So, now in all of this, there's only Tally. Let's go talk with Tally. Oh, and Engineer Adams. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. <laughs> Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Uh, personal. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only Tokyo! A cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. And that's it. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Tally! Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Ah. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. This one is special, Tally. Come on, Normal calm down. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. Don't worry, Tally. You one day will get far away into your stuff. It's a dream come true for me. I, I had no idea you found ship technology so yep. interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. That was 300 years ago. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. Mm -hmm. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. Ah, that's what matters. We try to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Quarians. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Mm -hmm. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. That's a problem with doing a, a gameplay of Mass Effect. There's a lot of uh, talk, talk, talk. Probably there's people who don't want to see that, so they don't see videos. So. That's horrible. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Like what? What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of okay. course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population mm -hmm. decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. The Conclave? That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. 
On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Uh, democratic. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the conclave and the respective council for each ship tend mm -hmm. to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. Okay. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Uh, I don't want to hear it anymore. I'll talk to you later, Tally. Sorry about that, but uh, if I keep talking, I will hear a lot, a lot, a lot of story. I already know that. So, I'm going to move on. Because I want to play, I want to go take... I want to go find Liara, I want to go find... Uh, to go find what? What, what, what? Uh, I need, oh, I need to go to Pharaohs, then Novaria. First, I want to go to Pharaohs. On the screen again. First, Liara, then uh, Pharaohs, then uh, Novaria. And between those, I'll probably do some missions, uh, side missions and stuff like that. So, here we go! Zoom out and uh, zoom out again and now zoom out again. God damn it! Bavaria, Liara the excites. Here we go. Okay, now I can't remember which one of this. I think it's this one. Athens. I think it's Athens. And the ship is now released from the citadel and we'll fly into space and roll the seven ah uh, normally said seven seas so this gate will rule, rule, rule the galaxy hmm hilarious so, let's see if this this one nope now what? Nozitika? Nope. Uh, source, source, survey. Gas deposit. Okay, I got some stuff for ship, for the ship. Produce, produce, produce. Survey. Nope. What the fuck? Oh, there's one. Pharaohs. Our survey and to didn't say god damn it fuck it's not in this one so Knossos Knossos Oh Fiatus I have no idea Nope Oh god Nope Here Oh, this one is this one. This one's where uh, Liara is. Now there's a cutscene. No. So for this, I will need to take who? Who? Who should I take? I need to take Rex because I will need his strength. But I'm I don't know. Caden, Tally. Fuck. I need who? Who? who I'm in the size between Caden, Kiara, Zotelli. Who should I take? What should I take? Who should I take? Oh, I'll take. Caden. Fuck it. Use some biotic strength. And here goes the Mako. And here goes the first drive with the Mako. Where I'll do probably shit. Uh? Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. 
It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay, thank you, Joker. Get you used to the driving of the Mako again. I like the Mako. I hope in the new Mass Effect drum that they bring back the Mako. Seems like it, but hey, Mass Effect 3 uh, showed Makos as well, driving next to you and all that stuff, and they. Nice son. Uh, and you never drove one. So let's see if the new one will bring Mako back.